League apartment. Americans are in a sad place right now. Let people love who they love and live your own life. Then Nick Merckx, who's a pretty influential <laughs> Call of Duty streamer. Yeah. He has over 7 million Twitch followers and 3 million YouTube subscribers. He responded to this tweet the writing, they should leave little children alone. That's the real issue. So Nick faced some backlash for this tweet. A bunch of people responded to it with uh, criticism. He mean? also lost a brand deal with Call of Duty, his operator skin, which is basically like in Fortnite. No! You can play like as a us. You can play as the Among Us. It's a promotional player thing. It was removed from the Call of Duty store, which will likely yeah. cost him. Which is funny because like his thing is like a Spartan, mm. objectively the gayest Damn. historical yeah. group of men. Like no, just the hard. most gay. And also actually did fuck kids. Like, <laughs> yeah. they're, they're, they're that whole, part too. <laughs> their whole life. <laughs> yeah. They, <laughs> yes. they literally were doing, They were not leaving kids alone. Dude. They were... <laughs> They were not. They yeah, were, something's not adding up here, Nick. Yeah, they would, they would <laughs> toss the unfuckable ones to the wolves. Yeah. <laughs> they're, like, they're like, this is not a sexy baby. Fuck this baby. <laughs> now we get a hot race. <laughs> I, I don't know if they tossed the babies. Or if that was fake or not. <laughs> no, it's ordered 300. I yeah. think they tossed the baby. <laughs> yeah, they were like, yeah, they were like, this is not a fuckable baby. <laughs> they that consult is. the Reddit chart. This is a three out of ten. <laughs> no, is, is, what is it? The his zigotes are on a light? <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Zygomatic process. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's continue. Fuck. You know, good amount of revenue. I assume he makes commission or gets some kind of money from it. Because it's his face. But a lot of people, and I would argue far more people, at least as far as content creators go, <laughs> they came out in support of Nick's post. You saw support from other major game streamers, some of whom publicly Wait, deleted so just the game always dress in protest. Like that? At Call of Duty. <laughs> this is a different guy. This is Dr. Disrespect. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, this yeah. is another spot. No, no, this is another. He's not a spot. <laughs> <laughs> but he did cheat on his wife. <laughs> Publicly, <laughs> not with a man though. Okay. Well, that would be smart. fucked up. No, yeah, no, with the, with a woman, um, <laughs> which I which I made jokes about, and he got very upset at me. Division made the decision to pull Nick Merckx's skin bundle off the game. So what I got to do what I actually is uninstall off? the game. Number one, they either need to apologize publicly to him or reinstate his bundle. In order for me to consider playing Call of Duty <laughs> again. Many of his fans and followers shared his post in support, and content creators from all realms of the internet made videos about this situation, most of which agreed with and supported his message. So today what we're going to do is look at some of those videos and the arguments made within them and talk about why basically it's a bunch of bulls. It's a bunch of crap, okay? It's a bunch of babungus, and we got to cut it down. So that's what we're going to do today. Make sure to like, subscribe, watch video. Also, join my Patreon. Patreon.com slash S-A-M-S-E-N. Okay, so before we talk about Nick specifically, we got to back it up and give some context to the protests in Glendale. After all, his tweet only exists as a response to a video of that protest. So the narrative being presented by a bunch of content creators is that in Glendale, a bunch of concerned parents were protesting the LGBTQ influence in their schools, and then the radical leftist mob showed up and antifa all over the parents, antifa Ling Lee, all for the crime of defending their own children from indoctrination. Concerned parents were pro protesting against far left psychopaths. Can I say psychopaths? Yeah. Okay, oh, like, wow. dude, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> but like, if you're, like, if your entire account revolves around you being a Gundam, like, <laughs> I don't want to hear from you yeah. on anything that's unrelated to Gundams, okay? Yeah. Even Gundams I don't care to hear from you on. But like, you know, stay in your, stay in your fucking lane, <laughs> dude. Yeah. <laughs> Also, why is he wearing like Hunter in his Thompson? in his avatar? He's wearing like the Dick Tracy, like he's wearing the tip 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 milady hat, and he's smoking a gar. He's cool. He's I thought, smoking. I, I thought it yeah. was the um, fear and loathing in Las Vegas guy on his shirt. No, that's him. No, I think that's him. Oh god, he smokes cigarettes. That's pretty cool. Perhaps yeah, anymore. Cool. The concerned parents were then labeled anti LGBTQ. Yes. Respect other people's cultures and religions, unless they go against drag shows for kids. Parents were outside the school board meeting protesting against the heavily politicized and heavily LGBTQIA plus curricula that is being pushed in the school district. This is Femme Shabiro. 
Brett Cooper. She yeah. Looks bit, she looks a bit like... A bit? She looks a identical like to... Benjamin. Yeah. But it's not his sister. No. It's not Abby. No, no, no. Not, not Abigail. <laughs> not Abigail, my beloved, dude. I'm what do you mean? Why. Wait, what? You don't know Abigail don't know Shabibo? Abby? Are you kidding me? What was it? I Classically Abby. Yeah, She's a YouTuber yeah. herself. Yeah, We're we big signed fans. up to her. Um, oh, you did? Yeah. Exclusive. What? It's not only fans. What's it's <laughs> what, what kind of exclusive content does she have? She, she just teaches you how to have sex. Yeah. It's great. We watched what? it. About like how if you're not happy in marriage sometimes, about how to get through just it. keep having boring sex. Usually. That's what she's. That's kind of sad. It was actually pretty bad that one. It was a bit sad. Yeah, I mean, it was all normal advice, but it was also just like betrayed a lot of like unhappiness in yeah. marriage. District and these parents were met with left-wing protesters outside, thought to be Antifa. I think most of them were probably Antifa. We're literally watching a video of parents and Glendale citizens defending themselves and their families against rabid militant members of Antifa who yeah. literally showed up to make this day violent. Brawls break out between parents and LGBT activists outside a school board meeting turned into fights between the predominantly Armenian community and sex. activists. But the more interesting Armenian aspect years. is, it seems the activists are getting a lot of out-of-state support. And apparently some of the well, activists that were arrested LGBT, outside that school don't even... That's, that's your side in this. Oh, me? Yeah. yeah. No, that's why. I saw that and I was like, this is my time to shine. <laughs> I got to slander the Armenians. <laughs> They were trying to say that unironically when I was covering what? it. I'm really? like, yeah, no, well, they're not even fucking Armenian. Like, the people that got arrested are literally, like, proud boys from fucking, like, Irvine and shit. Like, they're not even from Glendale. I'm on the right side on this anti-Armenian <laughs> crusade, okay? <laughs> and have kids that go to that school or even have their own kids. Where Andy No reports, one of the activists arrested actually had been arrested before involving a crime against a kid. So first of all, what none of these videos mention is the fact that there were far-right agitators present at these protests. Agitators with histories of starting violence at protests. Let's meet some of those boys. Tony Moon, a self-described Christian patriot and- Not Armadian. Just gonna say that. Antifa Hunter, he was there. Hey, Tony. He was also present at the January 6th riot. In August of 2021, he was filmed attacking a journalist at an anti-vaccine protest oh, yeah. while yelling, <laughs> unmask one. them all. Put your one in mind. Yo, stop it! Unmask them! Unmask them! Unmask them! Unmask them! You've got... Crazy sunny Lovely one, guy, basically. Hey, Tony. Real quick, okay, I'm editing right now, but I just noticed the sign this lady's holding in this video of Tony. No hate. God made man and woman. Don't confuse our kids. In case anyone was wondering if these people are homophobic. Next, one of our big boys, Josh Fulfer, who's a far-right live streamer who traveled over 200 miles from Fresno to film the Glendale protest. He dressed in an end trans terror t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't be allowed to be from Fresno. Or to leave Fresno. That's my point on this <laughs> shirt. Here he is pictured with Devin Nunes a while back flashing the white power symbol, which is an okay sign. But at the time, it was being used as a dog whistle by the far right. It was a trolling thing. And if that sounds like far left wacko nonsense to you, uh, check out this article about that situation. I'll leave it linked in the description. Adam Kiefer, who's a trucker from Southern California with a well-documented links to the Proud Boys, although he has denied being a member, which I love that, you know, he just goes to the rallies wearing the merch but not as a member as as a fan <laughs> he's not a proud boy he's just a proud proud boys stan in april Kiefer was filmed outside a chino valley school board meeting calling a photographer kelly stewart a series of slurs including slur loving demon beep beep boop you do don't take away my money you did it to me last week and i'm so so sad everyone go to my patreon do you have kids that go to the school do you have kids that go to the school pal Get the phone out of my face before I smash it on the ground. Awesome. Dude, I love this guy. Like, in his mind, or in the minds of anyone, this guy is there to protect children. Like, <laughs> yeah. I love protecting children by going out to random schools when I don't have a child there, or a child at all, and screaming slurs at kids and their parents. That's how I do it. I threaten the parents by beating them. <laughs> the kids are going to walk past and high-five him as they go. Yeah, like, it's like, oh, you. sir, yeah, you thank you. Back. Yeah, fucking fat Fred Durst over here. <laughs> Just, yeah, I got you. I'm fucking protecting you, dude. You're violating the restraining order right now. You're looking at these people right here. So all of these guys were there. And so all the complaints.
complaints about Antifa members showing up from out of town without kids <laughs> in the district. Like, he's like, I'm not even allowed to be here, legally speaking. <laughs> this is around a school. <laughs> Apply to these far-right freakos. But curiously, none of these videos mention them at all. This allows for them to falsely why. frame the narrative as a conflict between innocent, concerned parents and left-wing violence making bad guys woke. Woke, 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 woke. And well, okay, so they were outside agitators on both sides then? Well, not really, because if we look to the parent side of things, the reality is made clear. The group of parents protesting, the ones wearing the Leave Our Kids Alone t-shirts, is a group organized by a far-right activist. This is Jordan Henry, who's been causing a ruckus in these meetings since he moved to Glendale in 2021. He's shown up at these meetings to complain about cultural Marxism, the LGBTQ agenda, and anti-white racism. He was the one who filed a records request for 1,300 documents from the district, which eventually led to a teacher being transferred out of the district over concerns for her safety. Henry also has a YouTube channel with 200 subscribers where he sings about the Shout perils of wokeness. It's pretty funny, to be honest. Here's his hit single, American Commie Demo, with 135 plays across all platforms. American Commie, yeah. Give me some bell hooks. Tell me now all the whites are crooks. I'm not making fun of a small creator for being small, by the way. I'm just proud that I found this content. And would you believe it impressive. if I told you that Jordan Henry also does not have any children in the Glendale school district? What? Imagine my shock. And this isn't all to No way. Half these motherfuckers also homeschooled their kids. Yeah. Like, so that's what makes it even funnier. But they're just like, they're doing it for the love of the game. You know what I mean? They're not, they're not really doing it because they think that they're saving children. Say that there weren't parents there that disagreed with the initiative. There were, but they were undeniably influenced by a right-wing activist. And crucially, they were a very small minority in the district. Out of the 50 parents who spoke at the actual meeting, only three of them voiced disagreement with the initiative to recognize Pride Month. The school board ended up voting unanimously in favor of the initiative as they have in the past five years. But you wouldn't know that if you watch any of the media coverage from these, so that's these what they do. They just okay so now with that context established let's return to our gamer boy Nick Merckx so one argument I'm seeing repeated around his defense is basically Nick was punished for merely stating his opinion his opinion is innocuous and most sensible normal people would agree with it it wasn't even about Pride Month or Call of Duty even even it's about letting kids be kids but at least in my opinion Nick Merckx really didn't do anything worthy of a cancellation at all he really just put his opinion out there about a news topic in a little <laughs> video clip and now it's likely i like that it's like it, like that's what it is it's just like oh it's just an opinion it's like dude he's like <laughs> when you're actively claiming that like like whether willingly or unwillingly that you're like gay people are grooming children to be gay mm. that's like eight different things that are so far away from reality like that you can't just like be like oh it's an opinion dude i don't get it okay well the brands are also you know saying that their opinion is they don't want to fucking collaborate with a content creator that's saying that. You know what I mean? Nick Mark's MB child. Oh, God, stop. Cost him millions of dollars. Companies are so deathly afraid of the woke mob putting them in their crosshairs that they dare not allow parents to have opinions about their own kids. To celebrate that pride, he silenced him from saying something that wasn't offensive, but it might be construed as offensive to the few people on Twitter that are mentally unhinged. The overwhelming huh. majority of people don't see an issue with Nick's tweet. Again, it's like, bro, you... Like, what, what do you look like? You know what I mean? We don't know. You look like you present yourself as a Gundam. <laughs> like, I don't He's know. He's not one of those weird guys on Twitter. Yeah. yeah. You, you, are you not a weird guy on Twitter? You you sound like one of those weird guys on Twitter. Like, you, you sound exactly how I assume, like, a Redditor sounds like. like yeah. <laughs> he just showed himself. Wait, he did? That's Nick Murray. No, that's Nick Murray. Offensive, that's but it might be construed as offensive to the few people on Twitter that are mentally... Yeah, I don't think this is the Gundam The unhinged. Yeah. The overwhelming majority of people don't see an issue with Nick's tweet because he didn't do anything but give an opinion that ain't even crazy. This is what they're calling anti-LGBT now. Activision removes Nick Merck's Call of Duty bundle after controversial Pride Month comments? He didn't make any comments about Pride Month, he just said that children should not be exposed to content. Why is that a comment on Pride Month? The opinion that Nick- Wait, it's a Gundam face reveal? 
That is not what he looks like. No, 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 no. I don't want to watch this. This is scary. Uh, uh, are you guys joking or are you being for real? Answer. Oh. That's how we got rid of people walking with their cell phones. Because the phone was busy killing the motherfucker. So in a is that him? Does that sound That's like the same doesn't voice? doesn't look that bad. No, it doesn't look that bad. He's also trying to make himself look like an old man here. If the dude could read, he would understand that Nick was replying to a tweet about Prime Month. It's actually him. He deleted it. Why? He looks so good. I don't get it. Sydney Watson, she's Australian. Oh, she's the fucking worst. Nick expressed is unbelievably innocuous and it's one that even gay and lesbian um, people themselves express however yes you are correct it is 2023 we live in hell we are on the hell gondola and activision took it upon themselves to punish a streamer it's so bad to be like far right but use all the lamest like liberal kind of quotes hell gondola <laughs> we're in a Horrible. fucking hell gondola you can be as racist as you want and you're you're being so lame yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking Aussies, man. The Stay out of our Aussies politics, suck. you know what I mean? And our country, really. Yep. That's what I say all the time. For expressing an opinion that does not relate to them. So this is the coward's argument. Just playing dumb and acting as if he just tweeted out, you know, I hate pedophilia. Pedophilia is bad. And then the woke mob swooped in and took away his Second Amendment Call of Duty yeah, rights. Yeah, the woke mob. Call of Duty was like, we love pedophilia. Yeah. Like, actually, what are you doing? Like, this is our, this is our market, dog. You can't do that. Or whatever. It's bullshit and it's silly. He's responding directly to a controversy about Pride Month. The context of the tweet specifically he's responding to is a pro Pride Month tweet. And he has insinuated that kids should be left alone by the Pride Month stuff, which left alone, you know, why leave them alone if there isn't some harm being caused there, right? And what does harm mean in this context? Well, it depends on who you ask, but for the majority of these right-wing figures, harm means making the kids gay and trans, transifying and gayifying the kids. They're talking about indoctrination. This cowardly framing that he's just sharing his opinion, oh, that's all it is, also ignores the larger context of the wave of anti-LGBTQ rhetoric and legislation and protests that have been happening in this country for a while. There have been thousands of school board protests. Many of them end up looking like this. It's being used as a culture war wedge. At that point, just don't show it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm yeah. sorry, Noah, but like, what just do don't see? show it. Describe it to us. What's going on right now? You know, just like reenact it or something. I don't know what's happening. Like, <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> like, I get it. A YouTube is uh, YouTube is very censorious. I understand, but like, come on. Issue. Thankfully, you know, it's a kind of a losing battle as we saw in the midterms. It doesn't really translate to votes. Just culture war. Bullshit. But they are waging that war, and it is disrupting the education process, and that's. That they are here feigning ignorance, acting like they don't know what they do know uh, in order to defend Nick. Because Nick is saying what they believe, he's just saying it on a huge platform in a way that garners him plausible deniability. I just don't think it's any place for a teacher or a school. I don't think it's the place to speak about things like that. It's not that I think that it shouldn't be spoken about. If that's what you got from that tweet, then you're just wrong. I don't have any quarrel with anybody in here. I don't have any quarrel with people. I just hate his style. On the internet. Um, it wasn't an ant. He looks like a frat boy. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I've i shared many a drinks with this man. I feel bad. <laughs> I, I don't he, know I so he, I can... Uh, I, wish he didn't, I wish he didn't have these opinions, you know? I wish he was but, just a regular Spartan guy, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, well, let's not go that far. <laughs> okay, let's not go that far. Because that would be gay, and we don't like that. No. No, no, that's, not, no. that's not good. This thing is Spartan, and he isn't even Greek. He's Macedonian. Okay. Oh, to be fair. No one cares about that. I do. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you mean? Anti, I guess, that wasn't what it was. Now, listen, if you have issues with me or if you have issues with that tweet, then, hey, listen, I'm down to agree to disagree. That's fine. We can agree to disagree. But if you think that I hate you, because you're, you're a certain way, you just couldn't be any more wrong. I, 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 I do not feel that way. I just simply feel that I want to be the one and my wife wants to be the one to speak with our child about stuff like that. Yeah, he wants to, he wants to educate his uh, children on Harvey Milk and stuff, like historical LGBT figures. Hmm. <laughs> That's it. That's all. He's actually more woke. He knows more than the teachers do, which is why he wanted to 
have this conversation with the actual adequate historical perspective. You guys are just, you misunderstood what he was saying. I don't hate gay people. You know, I just don't think that their existence or lives should be acknowledged in any way whatsoever in public. Not until everyone in the room is a legal adult. It really sucks for my kids if they're gay. They won't be able to talk about it until they're legally old enough to get kicked out, which would never happen unless they were gay. So the next argument I wanna look at is the more mask off one. Nick is right, they say. The kids should be left alone. By that, we mean leave the LGBTQ stuff out of schools entirely, let the parents handle it because the gay agenda is harming kids. It is scaring children. Kids should not be exposed to adult content at all. Regardless of orientation or whatever, I think kids should not be involved to sexual content. This is my favorite argument because it's like, you know, like you can't be a pregnant teacher. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? It's like, what? What are you? Are you kidding me? That means you fucked. Yeah, that's like, fucking, that's you can't, you can't do that. That's fucked up. Except, no, of course they don't. They would never say that because that's normal. Content. Nick Merckx simply stated, "I want to raise my baby how I feel best." So some employees from Activision Blizzard, in a rush to punish anyone who dare challenge their narrative, somehow aligned a billion-dollar company with fringe activists that are willing to travel state to state to get into physical confrontations with parents to ensure they can show kids adult material. To start off, notice how they're grouping in all these examples of other controversies that are totally unrelated to the Glendale thing. Adult material, books with sex in them, sexual content, a bunch of weird, scary, gay stuff, and not, you know, a rainbow flag and some lessons about the Stonewall riots. That's the propaganda working full time there, grouping it all together and saying, wow, this is so scary and bad, let's exterminate it. Famously, this has never caused any problems as a form of propaganda against a minority. Okay, but for this one, let's do a little thought experiment, right? Let's say that we enforce this on a national scale, banned by federal mandate any discussions of LGBTQ issues in schools and then applied this rule to all parents. They will teach it and not the school. The question then arises, what if they're homophobic? What if the parents are transphobic or homophobic? And worse yet, what if the kids of those parents happen to end up being gay or trans? One major reason for a curriculum that acknowledges the fight for LGBTQ rights throughout history and celebrates Pride Month is to normalize these things so that the kids that fall into these Took my armrest or something. You're on board? No. We, we don't, you don't have to keep watching. It's all These categories good. can grow up knowing that they're not alone and that it's okay for them to be who they are and that they should fight for that against these harmful forces of social conservatism. If these curricula are banned, the result will be that some parents will lock their kids away until they're ready to be taught that gay people exist, which only serves to harm these kids, contribute to an environment of repression and shame, which is, you know, bad. I hope you think it's bad because it's pretty sort of objectively bad. Because he wants to be the person to teach his kids kids about this very important issue that is very personal, that is very intimate. He does not want to leave that in the hands of schools, which should not be a crazy extremist take. But the more important thing here is that even if a lot of parents... Yes, there's an echo because the fucking noise gate is off because uh, their mics would not work without... Yep. If the noise gate was on, okay? I'm sorry. Up sorry. teaching We're the sorry. kids about these things. What sort of message <laughs> is that sending to gay and trans kids that their lives and existence must be hidden from view and can't be spoken about openly or represented in their schools, their community, the communities that they spend the majority of their time in? Straight kids are not treated this way for their sexuality, and the reason for that is, you know, uh, you. I like this guy giving me tips on like how to run the production on the show. Just mute He's like, just microphone. mute the microphone. Yeah, so like when they want to speak, they'll end up talking to the mic. I will forget that I've muted the microphone. The show, and then he'll tell me, and then we'll just spend, you know, five minutes uh, trying to fix it. Yeah, that seems good. <clears throat> you know the reason. The last thing I want to comment here is how extreme of a dynamic this creates when people make this argument. Any critique of Nick's tweet is being interpreted by these people as a pet as grooming. All Nick said was, leave the kids alone. If you don't like that, you must not want the kids to be left alone. You must be a groomer. Regardless of orientation or whatever, I think kids should not be involved to sexual content. And I do find it very strange when people will take the opposing position to mine. Like, I'm sorry, but I can't help but feel like you're some kind of freak if you disagree with that statement. He did not say anything about the LGBTQ plus community. He just said, leave the children alone, which should be a statement 
that everybody can get behind. It used to be a statement mm. that people could yeah, just get leave behind. Every that was a line. Alone. Leave that's my st- everything. Don't teach yeah. kids anything. No, that's my alone. that's my statement. When I see like a kid in an Arizona parking lot trapped <laughs> in a hot car, I'm like, just leave the kids alone. <laughs> like, what are you what are you doing? Leave the kids alone. Just don't let do anything. Wolves raise all of our children. Yeah, what I the fuck? Very consistent. In the in the jungle. Yeah, the like stress. the other day, some teacher tried to teach my child about chemistry. Uh, no thanks. Okay. Yeah. We're not doing that. That's devil's language, okay? That, Alchemy. Bad. We're not doing that. Leave him alone. No shot. You see, even a kid. You see a kid, even if it's yours, cross the street. Exactly. Teach the children about the top of the hour ad break. Huh? Tell them that at the top of the hour there's a three minute ad break, <laughs> and that they should use their mommy's credit card to subscribe <laughs> for five dollars or for free to avoid those ad breaks. Or maybe they can get gifted a sub if they're lucky. Okay, lucky children, of course. Here's a three minute ad break now. You seen how we hot drew ben in the sand? Yeah, HRT's been great for. Is that her. what it is? Yeah. It's so weird. It's like face is like thicker. Yeah. Fem, fem Shabibo, like an, you know, she's shining. Oh no, I mean the actual Ben Shapiro. Oh, he's gotten like. I thought past, you were making a joke. I thought you were making a joke as I well. I thought you were oh, saying like, like, like sick. Yeah, wait, really? You actually think Ben Shapiro's Did, hot you look now? Look at his recent videos. He's got like a jaw now. I wouldn't say he's hot. What? He, looks he looks like a completely different What's man. What's wrong with you? Okay, we got to look him up now. What the fuck? I watch him all the time. I haven't you noticed, haven't noticed? He I does not just... look anything like the Ben Shapiro I grew up with. <laughs> <laughs> See, look at that. That's what he well, folks, like. Andrew Tate was in here. Look at him now. The precise opposite okay, of funny. the thing. He looks pretty similar. This is the okay, guy. What was I looking at? What was he I looking at? I was person. looking at a different video of him. <sighs> this is the oh. guy. Damn it! Where is he? What was he talking? Really? About? This this is the guy you said was hot. Let's keep watching. Wait, 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 let's see. Wait, wait, let's wait, see wait. some more. Yeah, more more recent ones. There we go. Go, go, to, go to. That was the most oh, that recent. Was the one. Dude, they want you fat, stupid, and lazy. KJP can't handle the heat. Oh, the Nicki Minaj one. Well, folks, when I critiqued Pound Town 2 the other day, I didn't... I'm wrong. There was there was a video. 34 MKD 50. Thank you for the 50. Get the subs. Damn it. I'll find him. You'll find him? You'll find, find Hot find Ben Shapiro? I saved Hot Ben Shapiro on my phone. <laughs> you saved him. You saved a photo of him. You're like, wow, he's looking hot. He's looking good. <laughs> fucking, fucking thick, well, tight, solid. Oh, Jesus Christ. As a culture, as a society, that is no more. When Call of Duty removes Nick's skin from the shop, it's because Call of Duty are, is, a bunch of grooms. This is what makes it such compelling propaganda to a lot of people, is that to the uninitiated, this is a settled debate. Grooming is bad, and if you're okay with grooming, then you might be a groomer too, which ignores this false and bigoted premise that that has anything to do with LGBTQ rights. It's age-old propaganda. They've been doing this for a long-ass time. It's always been a lie. But if you're unaware, of that history, if you're unaware of how this has been used against these communities, then you'll go on your stream and defend this kind of rhetoric because you don't know any better. And man. you I, are no, playing no, games no. all day, you don't really I care. Not gamer shaming no. there. I'm a gamer with a big platform promoting homophobia shaming. A little different. The last argument I want to go over is an interesting one because it's sort of accidentally Marxist. A few people brought up the fact that in some countries, Activision removed the pride flags from the Call of Duty item store and that this represents a lack of consistent principles. They don't really care about games right so the argument goes because if they did they'd keep the flags in the game uh, in every region they'd stick to their value ironically it's also been shown and proven that call of duty censors all the lgbt pride stuff in the middle east which proves that all of this is performative. Call of Duty Warzone, Modern Warfare, and Warzone 2 censored its Pride Month flags in the Middle East. They replaced the flags with blacked out images. If Blizzard and these other gaming companies actually cared about this group of people, they would never host something in a country that goes against all of their values. They just wouldn't even do business with them. Now, Activision's is that statement our about Nick's skin yeah, removal, really ouch, awesome. might yeah. lead one to believe the that they do much? have <laughs> some <laughs> <problems>. <laughs> Pride Month. They do have LGBTQ employees, probably, and they definitely have LGBTQ members of their player base. At the very least, some principle is represented here in their decision to cancel the promotion of one of their biggest streamers because of his tweet. But ultimately, any principle that they may have towards inclusivity will always be trumped by the principle of profit. They are a games company looking to sell games. If their marketing team has determined that Pride flags will lose the 
the money in some regions, pride flags will be gone in those regions. That's just the way it is. This accusation they is an do attempt all the time to in Saudi Arabia. You know, abide by your principles, you bigots. But it rings hollow because in both of these cases, Activision is not breaking their principles. They're not contradicting themselves. They are adhering to the logic of capitalism. Okay, so now let's try to answer the question, is Nick Merckx a bigot? He said on his stream that he doesn't hate members of the LGBTQ community. He just wants to teach his own kids about them. Uh, it's his kid, let him teach him how he wants. And the thing is, one doesn't have to say, I hate gay people in order to support a movement that hates gay people. All it takes in this case is entering into a tense political debate about human rights and making a statement that associates a group of people with grooming, that insinuates that children are being harmed by this movement. In his tweet, he is making the same argument that's been made about the LGBTQ community yeah, for decades, Nick. that these kids aren't being left alone. That's you and and that they yeah. What? Yeah, bro, we were fucking phasing up back then. Yeah, the cool guys. We were fucking phasing up. Not a how gay, you, not a gay man in the like building. A complete frat boy in that photo as well. He's, I mean, you know, <laughs> it's not. I don't know why you had to say that. No, I don't look like that <laughs> at all. Yeah. Is he standing on someone? Yes, dude. He, no, he's <laughs> six ten. <laughs> Wait, really? No. Oh. No. You can see his knees in this photo. No. <laughs> And XQC as well. Oh yeah, XQC's so in the back fluid. with his Gamba Casino shirt. So much, so much in this photo. Should because bad stuff will happen if they aren't. That their existence, um, in this case, the existence and acknowledgement of Pride Month. Wow, that's such a crazy thing. This should all be hidden from view and relegated to the confines of your own home. That is bigotry. And whether Nick meant it that way or not, that is what he is tacitly endorsing when he enters into this conversation without really having the full context. And yeah, you know, that's, I think that's bad. So anyways, uh, that's it. I'll see you guys. Yeah, well. So that's it. Now, now you know. know.